Welcome to this video tutorial on Funnel Metadynamics, in which I introduce the protocol and the main commands to use this binding free energy method. The very first step is the setup of the funnel restraint on the system under study, which is done through the Funnel Metadynamics graphical user interface implemented in the Molecular Visualization Program VMD. On screen, you see the benzamidine trypsin system that we use as paradigmatic case. Here is the benzamidine ligand in the bulk, and here its molecular target trypsin. We are interested in sampling the binding of benzamidine to the trypsin binding site that I have represented as green cartoon. Therefore, the funnel restraint should be placed on the system so as to include the ligand binding site in the cone section of the funnel. To do so, we go to extensions, TK console and source the Funnel Metadynamics setup plugin named funnel.tcl. To open the graphical interface, type the command funnel underscore TK. As a starting point, you get a default translucent representation in orange of the funnel on your system. Now you have to change the position and the dimension of the funnel to fit on your system. The first step is to set the coordinates of two points, called A and B, that define the axis of the funnel. This can be done either picking atoms with the mouse after checking these two options, or writing manually the atoms' coordinates. For instance, I check the first option and click on an atom to define point A. The same can be done with the second option for point B. You see that the funnel changes its position accordingly. Same thing if I write the coordinates of point A and B in the boxes. For instance, if I type 60, you see the funnel changing its position on the system accordingly. Now, let's have a look to the other parameters. ZCC here defines the switching point between the cone and the cylinder section of the funnel. So, if I type 20, the switching point changes increasing the cone section at the expense of a shorter cylindric region. The parameter alpha defines the amplitude of the cone region and it is in radians. For instance, if I write 0.35, it will reduce the cone region. The last parameter is the radius of the cylinder section R seal. The default value is one angstrom and can be used in almost all the cases. However, you might wish to change it to a higher value like 2, making the cylindric region wider. The funnel volume in orange on your screen represents the space that will be sampled by the center of mass of the ligand during funnel metadynamics. You can make the funnel invisible by checking the invisible representation mode and see clearly the position of point A and B in yellow and green respectively. You can note the presence of two additional points in red that mark the upper and lower boundaries of the ligand along the funnel axis. If the ligand reaches these positions during the simulation, an external potential is applied to the system to keep the ligand inside the funnel volume. The user can freely change the upper and lower boundaries. Once the funnel is set, you have to specify the VMD ID in which the system is represented, the name of the ligand, and then click on Apply. This produces the plumed input file that contains all the funnel parameters that we have previously set and the other necessary commands to run the funnel metadynamics calculation. In the plumed input file shown at the bottom, the unset parameters have the fill flag. This can be defined by the user using the drop-down menu. For instance, you can select the spring constant of the upper boundary, write 35 in the box at the right, press enter, and then apply. And you finally get the plumed input file with the additional parameters set. If you prefer, you can edit manually the plumed input through the interface, or export it to an external file and modify it with your favorite file editor. Using the plumed input file you have created in the previous step, you can launch the funnel metadynamics calculation. Before running the simulation, please check that all the fields in the plumed input file are filled. 
your final input file will look like this. This file includes all the simulation parameters. Three important commands are FPS, that calculates the center of mass of the ligand with respect to the funnel axis, funnel, that creates the funnel restraint potential according to the values set in the previous step, and method, that activates the metadynamics calculation. Now you are ready to launch funnel metadynamics. On your terminal, Type the command string to run the calculation with your preferred molecular dynamics program. In the case of Gromax, you have to call gmxmdrun-defnm with the name of your TPR file, which will also be the name of your outputs, and the flag minus plumed with the name of the plumed input file you have previously created. Once the funnel metadynamics calculation is completed, you get the trajectory file of your system together with the yields file that reports the energy added to the system during funnel metadynamics and the Colval file that contains a number of statistical data on the simulation. This is the last phase of our tutorial and regards the analysis and post-processing of the funnel metadynamics calculation. First, you open the Funnel Metadynamics Post-Processing Graphics interface in VMD, clicking on Extensions and TK Console, and then sourcing the post-processing plugin named FFS.tcl. To open the graphical interface, type the command FFS underscore TK. The interface is divided in two sections. One, to run post-processing calculations and the other to plot and work on the files created during the simulation and post-processing. Two post-processing calculations are possible. The first one is called the driver and allows calculating statistics on different collective variables using a trajectory as input. If you want to run driver, you need to specify the path of the plumed binary on your computer, the plumed input file, the chosen simulation trajectory and its format, the PDB file of your system, and the path where to save the output file. The second command is sum yields, that computes the free energy surface using the yields file generated during funnel metadynamics. Also in this case, you have to specify the path of the plumed binary in your computer, the path of the yields file, and the output folder, together with the choice to rescale the absolute minimum and the value of the product between the Boltzmann constant and the temperature. Upon clicking Plot FAS, a free energy surface of choice will be displayed on the screen. From the FAS, you can identify the lowest energy minimum, which represents the ligand binding mode and the other energetically relevant states. There are a number of things that you can do with the FAS. Let's see some examples. You can click the Trace button and scroll the simulation trajectory, plotting the position of each frame of your trajectory on the FES. This is possible if you contain inside the output directory the callvar file related to the simulation trajectory loaded. The button reset will clear the command. It is possible to extract frames for a given interval in the collective variable space by simply selecting the area of interest in the FES using the right button of the mouse. Alternatively, you can write the collective variable interval of your interest in the boxes at the right. These commands create a folder in the output directory, in which all the frames within the selected collective variable interval are saved as PDB files. In such a way, for instance, you can easily save the frames corresponding to the lowest energy binding mode. It is also possible to compute the absolute protein ligand binding free energy from the FES. To do so, specify in the box the collective variable interval corresponding to the bound region of the ligand, in our case from 0.3 to 0.5, and the value of collective variable WREF at which the ligand is in the bound state. Then press calculate and select the displayed FES file. The estimate of the ligand binding free energy is shown and accounts also the entropic cost due to the application of the funnel restraint. 
All the operations that we have seen can be even carried out on the FAST calculated as a function of two collective variables as shown here. The plugin automatically recognizes if the FAST is written in one dimension or two dimensions. In summary, using the Final Metadynamics protocol and its graphical user interface, the user is assisted in the preparation of the simulation, he can easily identify and save the coordinates of the ligand binding mode and the other energetically relevant poses and compute the absolute protein ligand binding free energy. This concludes the tutorial on funnel metadynamics. Thank you for your attention.